Hi students, it's me again. Moving on to uh, fraction three. So today, as you may expect, uh, we are moving on to division since we have already learned addition, subtraction, and multiplication during the previous lessons. So let's move on to this concept. Bear in mind, you're supposed to complete page 50 to 57 after this video presentation. So how do we divide fractions? <clears throat> very, very simple. Whenever you have a fraction, let's say one third divided by three fifths. Now the first fraction, you always have to leave it alone. Don't do anything to it. And when you multiply, change the divide sign to multiply, you need to get the reciprocal of the fraction here. So three fifths, the reciprocal of three fifths is actually five out of three. That's about it. And then from there, you do the same thing as what you did uh, previously when you learned about multiplication, one whole times five is five, three times three is nine. So five nine is the answer. What about when you have nine divided by a mixed number? Same thing as usual, you have to convert it into an improper fraction. So one and two thirds, you actually get five out of three. So same thing now, nine times the reciprocal of this fraction, which is three fifths. Bear in mind, 9 is actually 9 out of 1. That's how you get 27 out of 5, which is 5 and 2 fifths. How do I get that? So it's simply 27 divided by 5, you get 5. 25 here, remainder 2. That's how you get 5 whole, 2 out of 5, 5 is a divisor. Okay? Moving on. Oh! What about you when you have, you know, um, this kind of question whereby it involves addition or subtraction with division? Still the same thing using botmus. You have to deal with those that are, you know, divide and multiplication are the priority. You have to deal with them first. So don't worry, just leave the one alone, three quarter plus one and one quarter. i to convert this into an improper. So I get five over four divided by four seven which is 3 and 1 quarter plus 5 over 4 times 7 over 4. Right, I get the reciprocal of 4, 7. So I get 3 and 1 quarter. When I simplify, and there's no way I can simplify, so I get 35 out of 16. Okay, there's no way I can simplify. So when I want to add, okay, whole numbers, I can't add the whole numbers, so I got to convert everything to common denominator which is 3 and 16 over 4 right times 4 times 4 that's right so you got 35 over 16 okay now I can simplify 3 35 plus 4 is 39 over 16 and we know that 39 divided by 16 I actually have two of them which is 32 remainder 7 so I'm going to add two holes to three, uh, to this three. That's how I get five hole. Um, seven over sixteen is the answer. Moving on to this one. Okay, same thing. Mixed number divided by mixed number. Don't worry. Convert everything to mixed number first. So I get a uh, ten twelve over five divided by one four four plus one five over four minus two third equals to 12 over 5 times 4 fifth minus 2 third so again I have to multiply this 12 times 4 is 48 over 5 5 times 5 is 25 minus 2 third okay um, in order for me to subtract I need to have common denominator seems like I only have 75 as a common denominator I have to times 3 so 48 times 3, 24, 4 times 3, 12, 144, 144 here. So times 25, 3 times 25, get you 75. So it's just 50. So 144, 144 minus 50, 4, 94. I got 94 over 75, which is one whole. Uh, 19 over 75. That's the answer. Wow. Pretty challenging. But it can be done, isn't it? 
Uh, the good thing about video is you can rewatch this over and over again. Okay. So next part is about expressing one quantity as a fraction of another. So always remember, whenever you need to do that, you need to have common uh, grounds, which is common units. So for this case, I think it might be easier to change everything to cents. So this is 400 cents. So that's why 60 cents out of 400 cents, simplified, 3 out of 20. 25 minutes out of an hour. So this is 60 minutes, isn't it? So it will be 25 out of 60. Both can be divided by 5. 5 out of 12 is the answer. Problem solving. Hmm, how many shirts can be made with 40 meters of cloth if each uses 7, 8? Seems like it's a division question, isn't it? So it's actually simply 40 meters divided by 7, 8 meters, which is 40 times 8 over 7. So there's no way I can cancel. This is 320 divided by 7, which is 320 divided by 7 is 4, 28, 40, 5, 35, 5 here, remainder 5. So in our words, this is actually 45, remainder 5. So to make the number of shirts, the exact number of shirts, you can only make 45. Because the remaining part, you can't make another shirt with it. So you can make 45 shirt. shirts. So another question here, in the school, foreign students, one ten of them will sick two feet for an excursion. How many pupils are left in the school? Oh, that's a good one. Let's find how many people were sick. So one ten of them were sick. So 40 were sick. Two feet on excursion, two feet on excursion, two feet of the total, right? So this is again 80, so 160 on excursion. So how many were left? Simply means 400 minus 40 minus 160, you get 200 are left in the school. Easy. Ooh. I have another question here, but it's actually quite different from this question, isn't it? They may look the same. I think the main key difference is they're talking about the remaining students. Two feet for the remaining students, okay? So what is the remaining students first? So to get the remaining students after this uh, number of people who are sick. So let's say because the remaining student is actually 9 tenth of 400, isn't it? So it's 360 students. So this is the remaining ones. So two fifth of the remaining. Two fifth of the remaining. Oh, look at this. Slightly different already. So you divide by five. You get 72 here. 172 times two is 144. So 144 went for excursion. So how many students are left? So to find the number of students who are left will be simply 400 minus 40, which is the number of students who are sick, minus 144. 184, 184, 216 are left in the school. Aha, uh -huh, quite interesting, isn't it? Uh, the question seems the same, but totally the, the outcome is totally different. So that's why it's important for you to read the question carefully. Okay, that's the last question I'm going to go through with you. Do uh, go through all the questions I've given to you. Uh, if you have any issue, drop me a note on uh, Teams and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Bye.